from the get go here I need to get this out of the way I am not going to be reviewing slash refuting any of the group battles such as the Z Fighters versus the Justice League or what have you however I watched a few of them and I've noticed a pattern that they're using in Superman singles fights and in the group battles this this right here is animation rewinds gospel this Superman they will always fall back on this Superman will never beat Goku because of this now I know he used pre-crisis Superman who threw up rainbows on Goku and beat him I know that but he can use that win for Superman and say before you call me a Dragon Ball tard I made this and then he can continue to use this right here and he does he has done this multiple times to the point to where it's silly it's manipulative and silly and again as you know as I've shown not every writer goes by this it just happened to be in this handbook and he uses it he will ignore the feats and I am not calling Superman limitless by any stretch of the imagination however neither is Goku so since they're both not limitless since they have both needed help in the past you would think that this wouldn't be something to just keep throwing up in the viewers face to say this is why Goku wins or whatever anyway yeah. Superman. And instead of meshing all 44 Superman into one character, we're planning on sticking to one continuity. And that's the Justice League War timeline. Real fast, I just like to make a minor point. There are well over 44 incarnations of Superman. There's actually closer to 100 of them. And I'm still learning on myself. Carry on. Broly is one of the most destructive villains in the Dragon Ball universe. He can destroy whole planets with simple key blasts, and he enjoys doing so. And with a collective power surge over time, he slowly but surely destroyed the South Galaxy. This destruction feat doesn't put Broly at galaxy level simply because this destruction was a slow one that ripped the galaxy apart solar system by solar system. Now as big and bad as Broly seems, he has and can be defeated in battle. If his power level rises too high, his body can start to overflow, which will actually do more harm than good for Broly. So although Broly's energy constantly rises as a battle goes on, if Broly peaks, he will be in some trouble. I've heard a lot of people try to downplay this feat, saying that Brawly did not destroy a galaxy. If anybody can prove that, I'd like to see it. Because to me, this is the, excluding the Omni King, this is the single most impressive feat. I've ever seen out of Dragon Ball and this is absolutely insane to be able to annihilate a galaxy like this. Brawly was a real badass. Also, Broly has been defeated by the combined family Kamehameha of Goku, Gohan, and Goten. Broly wasn't fast enough to dodge this light speed Kamehameha, and once the blast launched him into the sun, he was defeated. No, 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 no. Hold up now. Hold up. Wait on a goddamn second. You're trying to tell me Goku needed help? He needed help to defeat somebody? But in this scan you keep using right here, it says Superman can always call on help of the Justice League. 
you mean Goku has needed help before? But he beats Superman because of Superman's physical limitations. No, there's no way that Goku needed help to beat Brawly. That's wrong. I, Animation Rewind, please get a hold of Toriyama and tell them that they're doing their character wrong. This is such bullshit, man. Damn. From one brute to another, let's discuss Superman, and what a surprise. We have Superman yet again on Cartoon Fight Club. And man, am I starting to lose count on how many times he's been on this show. But I'm not here to talk about Superman's past appearances. I am here to discuss his current appearance against Broly. The version of Superman I'm going to use for this episode is not exactly the new 52 Superman. I will be using the Dark Side War and Justice League War Superman canon which is actually a separate alternate reality to the New 52 continuity. Because this version of Superman is an upgraded and extended reality of the New 52 character, this version of Superman can do pretty much everything the New 52 can do. This includes all the crazy things like having the strength to lift over 36,000 solar systems, having the endurance to lift Earth over 432,000 times for 5 straight days with no sunlight, surviving and traveling inside a black hole, and most importantly, ripping an adult doomsday in half. All of these feats easily put Superman at multi-solar system level, but that's only what he's adopted from his New 52 continuity. Superman's latest transformation happened after absorbing negative solar energy from the fire pits of Apocalypse earlier in the DC Comics ongoing Dark Side War event. This new formation makes him the God of Steel. God of Steel Superman is pretty much what he sounds like. This version of Superman is no joke and is willing to do crazy things to win his battles. The one thing that makes God of Steel so strong is that this version of Superman does not hold back his punches and does his best to finish his battles as fast as possible. For example, the God of Steel literally one-shotted a being capable of destroying the whole galaxy. Not only did Superman beat him, he one-punched him. Overall, the Justice League War Superman is an upgraded incarnation of the New 52 Superman, and his most powerful form is known as the God of Steel. A mistake that I've made is taking this guy's word for it. I made that mistake in the past, but after further examination of this story, I can't find anything unless I'm missing something that suggests that the guy that he one-shotted was a galaxy buster. I can't find anything that says that. Now, I don't I don't like to uh you know take away from Superman, but in all truth, I don't think that he one-shotted a galaxy buster. I'm just being honest. However, he does have what's probably a better feat. The Anti-Monitor was able to wipe out universes. In past continuity, we've seen him do this time and time again. And this Anti-Monitor was stated to be just as powerful as the old one. And Superman punched him so hard. Uh, God of Strength, Superman punched him so hard that he made him bleed. So, there's that. He, Superman punched a universe buster to the point to where he made him bleed. That's why Superman won. From outside looking in, Superman pretty much outclasses Broly in every single category except destructive capability. Superman is faster, he was able to travel inside a black hole, Superman has shown to lift more weight than Broly's ever lifted, and two very important attributes, Superman is a way smarter and faster thinker, and he can breathe in space. To be honest, I could see this fight going either way. The God of Strength, Superman does have some attributes that Broly is lacking, however... He was pretty unstable. He was he didn't think like himself. He uh, got punched by Ultraman and it knocked him away. And 
I think a lot of that has to do, this Superman is stronger than New 52, but a lot of it has to do with the fact that he was unstable. And so with that in mind, I, I could see Brawley possibly winning. I think this, this was a good matchup. However, I believe that it would, uh, New 52 in base form, just New 52, would be a better matchup because he would have his mind. He would have his concept. Brawley was so powerful, it took a group to defeat him. And Goku couldn't beat him by himself. And I believe maybe Superman could. However, Superman would need his mind. Superman doesn't always punch his adversary away. Sometimes he outthinks them. Sometimes he finds a way to defuse them from an internal state. Superman uses his mind a lot in battle and God of Strength Superman kind of takes that away from Superman. So I always rank this guy low. He's extremely powerful but he's not as smart as other incarnations of Superman and really uh, this is kind of a downgrade for me versus New 52 he, he sh his mind just wasn't there where New 52 Superman could outthink his opponent this guy just rushed into battles